idle control system RPM higher than expected. If your engine's idling higher than normal and you're seeing a P0507 code, here's what's going on and how to fix it. This code means the computer sees the RPMs at idle are higher than they should be, even when you're not pressing the gas. Now most engines have a throttle body. It sits on top of the intake manifold. Inside, there's a butterfly valve that opens when you hit the gas and closes when you let off. When you're off the gas, the computer takes control and adjusts airflow to keep the idle steady. If idle's too high, the computer can't bring it down, and that's when it throws the code. Different cars handle this a couple ways. Some use an idle air control IAC valve, usually mounted on or near the throttle body. Others use an electronic throttle, where the computer controls the throttle plate directly. Here's what can cause the problem. First, a dirty throttle body. This is super common. Carbon buildup can stop the butterfly from closing all the way, letting in extra air. Take off the intake hose, check inside. If it's dirty, clean it with throttle body cleaner, not carb cleaner, and a soft brush or rag. If your car has an IAC valve, it might be dirty or faulty. These usually mount right on or next to the throttle body or intake manifold. You can try cleaning it or replacing it if needed. Next, vacuum leaks. Cracked hoses, bad gaskets, or a loose PCV hose can let in unmetered air. That makes the computer think it needs to add fuel, which bumps up the idle. Check around the intake manifold, vacuum lines, and the brake booster hose. PCV valve is another one. If it sticks open, that's a vacuum leak too. It's usually mounted on or near the valve cover, connected back to the intake. They're cheap and easy to swap out. To check for leaks, some people use brake cleaner or carb spray. Spray around the intake and vacuum lines with the engine idling. If the idle jumps or changes, you found your leak. Or you can use a smoke machine if you have access to one. If you've got a scan tool, you can look at live RPM and throttle readings. But if not, remember, AutoZone or O'Reilly will loan you one for free. Just ask at the counter. After cleaning or replacing parts, some vehicles might need an idle relearn. Some cars handle it automatically after a few drives, but others may need it done with a scan tool. So yeah, clean the throttle body, check for vacuum leaks, test the IAC valve if you've got one, and make sure the PCV valve isn't stuck. Clear the code and drive it. If idles back to normal and the code stays gone, you're good. That's it for this one. I'll catch you in the next.